Today we're going to talk about five easy to grow culinary herbs for autumn and winter. These herbs are easy to use every day in the kitchen. If you're enjoying these videos, make sure you like and subscribe. Let's start with nasturtiums. So nasturtiums are an annual and they grow best through the cooler months of the year. We like to get them planted usually in March after the real hot weather's finished. All of the nasturtiums in our garden have just self-seeded from the years before, so we don't really have to plant them again here. They like a sunny to semi-shady spot and good drainage. And as you can see, they can spread quite rampantly. So put them in a garden where you don't mind them, you know, making a real feature of themselves. In the kitchen, we use the leaves and the flowers. You can also use the flower buds. So the leaves and flowers can go in salads or you can chop them up into butter. The flowers make a really pretty addition to, to salads with their colours. The flavour is peppery. The flowers and the leaves are both very peppery. The leaves can be used to make wraps. So the bigger leaves, which you tend to get bigger leaves if they've been over fertilised or they're growing in more shade, but they make great wraps for smaller salads and that type of thing. So the flower buds can be made into capers just by using vinegar. You can um, soak them in salty water for, for overnight and then mix them with vinegar to make a substitute for capers. They're really quite nice. Next is coriander. So coriander is a short-lived annual, grows well from March through the winter months, but it really only lasts, its lifespan is really only about three months. So it's a good one to replant over the cooler months. When you're transplanting your coriander from a, a smaller pot, you do need to be careful not to disturb the roots too much. And it is one that will self-seed quite easily. So the seeds will come up, they'll stay in the ground and come up again, like in March or when the weather has cooled down. Coriander can be used in lots of different dishes from stir fries to salads. You can make a pesto out of it with adding a bit of chili and sesame oil, a bit of garlic and mash it up and, and make a nice tasty pesto that then can be added to stir fries or soups. And the leaves are just nice sprinkled over a salad. The roots can be used as well for, for curries. Uh, so you just dig, dig up the plants and, and chop the roots and the, and the lower stems and they add a nice flavour to soups and stews. The leafy part of coriander should be added at the end of the cooking or just sprinkled on top because the, the leaves lose their flavour a little bit if they're overcooked. And of course, once it comes into flour and it's seeding, you can also use the seeds in food as well. So the, the coriander seeds are used in a lot of different curry blends, but I also like them actually at their fresh green point, are nice in salads and and stir fries, etc. We we really like to add the leaves, just chop it into the our fresh avocado, mashed avocado for breakfast in the morning. It's really delicious. And then, you know, add the odd chili just to give it a bit more zest, a bit of lime juice. So here we have chervil. So chervil's a great a great little herb to grow through the cooler months as well. Once again, it's it's good to plant it in March for for using through the, the winter months. It has a delicate flavour, slightly an acidy flavour, and you can basically use it a bit like parsley, you know, chop up the leaves and, and put it on what whatever dish you want to, really. We like it on our eggs in the morning. We'll, we'll ha might have some boiled eggs or scrambled egg and sprinkle the chervil over the top. And quite often in places like France where it chervil they they love it in quite a few different blends that they make they have a chopped uh, a bowl of chopped chervil on their table so they can add it to their dishes at the end and being a nutritious herb it's great just to use it fresh on on any dish it makes a beautiful butter as well so chopping the leaves up and mixing it with butter is a good way to use it as well in soups like once you've made your soup stir through some chervil leaves um, to just add a bit of green colour and, and a freshness to them. You can even just chop them over vegetables or really any dish you want. In salads, I can use quite a lot in a salad. It's really nice as well. So chervil, it, it's a good one for the winter months. So here we have rocket. Rocket's another one that grows good through the winter months. So it likes good drainage, regular water, but it doesn't need loads and loads of it, but regular water is is beneficial for, 
for your rocket. Rocket has a, a quite a bitey flavour, so it's not for everyone, but it's really nice chopped over vegetables just to add a really nice peppery flavour. It's lovely in salads, of course, most, mostly people will, will use it in salads. It's also nice, I, I like to make a white sauce and then chop up the rocket and mix it through the white sauce to put over veggies is really yummy. There's also another variety, the wild rocket, which you'll often see um, in the salad mixes. It has a finer leaf and it's a good one to grow as well. So it'll grow all year round, the wild rocket. Here we have some kale. There's a few different varieties of kale. This one here is red Russian kale. So I quite like it because its leaves are softer than some of the other kale. So I'll tend to use this when it's younger in salads and then of course cooked as well. So it's really nice chopped up and stir fried with a little bit of garlic and oil. You can also make yummy kale chips out of these kales as well just by simply breaking them up into smaller pieces and dehydrating them, or you can sprinkle a little bit of oil on them and a little bit of salt and put them in, the, in a very slow oven for, for a little while till they crisp up. I love to use my kales instead of spinach, so I'll use them in my spanakopitas and in quiches and yeah, any, any as a side dish just on their own, just cooked with garlic and, and oil is quite nice as well. Very nutritious greens. So the time to plant kale is, is now through autumn and winter and it, it will sometimes grow right through. So it'll go like our red Russian went right through summer and it's still growing now. But generally we treat the kales as annuals for the cooler months. They like some sun, so an open sunny position is really nice for them, but they will take a little bit of shade from nearby plants. So that's five easy to grow culinary herbs for the cooler months. We really hope you've enjoyed these videos. If you haven't already, please like and subscribe. See ya.